go. First video. Um, this is the Anycubic Mega Pro. With it, it comes with a laser and it's also an FDM printer. So, what you can see here is the laser itself. It connects to the front. Um, they don't specify to take it off or leave it on. Uh, my personal preference is to actually leave it on the machine. It, it doesn't hinder the progress of it in any way. Um, cable tied all the way around. Um, what you've got around the back is the connection point, which is just the second one down. Um, but actually, it was suggested by one of the other guys on um, the Anycubic Mega Pro website uh, for Facebook, and uh, he kindly um, gave me a connector. And the connector plugs in there, so it's a permanent fixture. Um, and you can just swap easily between the laser, as you can see, the laser is connected right now. And uh, this is the filament connections here for the hot end. Um, easier than having to unplug the uh, connections at the top. Um, as I say, it wasn't. I think they've overlooked that any cubic. Um, if you're having to swap it over frequently, I would have suggested that the the filament connection and the laser connection should have actually been at the top, or even maybe to the left or right hand side. Um, that would make it easier to unconnect as you all know anyone who's got the Mega Pro is very very difficult to unconnect uh, without having to remove all of them. The problem is with removing all of them is that over time you're likely to loosen wires for parts that don't really need to be loosened. Um, but once again I believe um, this was purchased from AliExpress. Um, I don't have the link so I can't attach that to the video. Um, I'm guessing if anyone wants to comment where we could actually purchase that would be great. Um, just put it in the comments below. Um, like I say, so much easier like this as you can see. It's away from the machine, just a simple unplug, swap it over and you're back over onto filament printing. Really easy. Um, as you can see the spool holder is off to the right hand side. Um, I actually have an Anycubit Mega Pro, um, Mega Zero version 2 and the spool holder is on the top. Um, I don't actually have a preference. Um, I don't mind it above, I don't think it's an issue, um, uh, but I also don't mind it on the side. Uh, obviously that helps with the filament sensor as I say, right now I don't have the sensor connected. That that I would only suggest to have that connected if you were leaving the printer and going away for a, for the evening or or for a few days. Um, that will help. Um, as I say, right now I've got it connected for laser engraving. Now, theme tune for any cubic, brilliant. Um, the family laugh every time I I sort of dance to that, but you know small minds in that but um now this is something i would suggest get some thin plywood only a mil and um, two mil plywood on top that protects the bed now a few of the videos i've seen on youtube uh, i've seen people make this mistake i've seen them actually burn the bed uh, the glass bed now um that could do a hell of a lot of damage you know it can affect your filament printing and your adhesion so I would suggest some dog clips and uh, uh, plywood now what you will need to do though um, with the laser printing is just take into consideration that the height will change now any cubic suggests that you do 50 mil um, height for laser burning cardboard or paper um, but, and for wood it's 52 now I would say bearing in mind you've raised the bed a millimeter um, maybe call it 52 53 now to be fair I have actually been burning at 52 and it hasn't affected it um, but I would say that you do need to adjust your focus on there fortunately when I first received this um, any cubic mega pro I didn't actually have to adjust this in any way, so I was very fortunate. Now, that's not always the case when you get these. You do need to focus. Um, and the simple task is you, um, like I say, you click on print. Um, now, I did did a few um, 
prints the other day. Um, so what you've got here is, um, so the, the size here uh, of the print, so 90 by 84 on this occasion, so that's nine centimeters by eight and a half centimeters, um, is 14 by 21, so 14 centimeters by 21 centimeters in portrait, I believe. Um, you do you any um, laser engraving images you, or wording you need to make sure it's in bitmap. Now, my preferred choice is Microsoft Paint. It's a very standard, very basic package. Um, there's some limitations with that, of course. It means that you can't um, do some wonderful wild stuff um, like you would with Photoshop and stuff like that. Uh, I, I personally choose Paint because it's simple. Um, so what you can see in front of you, uh, the image name, try to make sure that when you're saving the image name it's it, it's only a few characters don't make a whole line you know because it may not read it i've noticed that if i have more than um three or four words it, it it just basically won't show on the memory card um like i say picture size here um once again bitmap your laser intensity that's you know the strength of the laser obviously um now 15 would be for paper so brown paper that is uh, cardboard and laser height would be 50 so that's how far the um, laser head raises on the gantry um, pixel size I wouldn't change that personally 0.1 is the um, suggested by any cubic I haven't changed that and I won't change it I think if it works don't change it um, and then you've got the mirror on and mirror off now Personally, I would stick to these, which is XEN, and no, um, don't change those. I did that by accident once, um, and I couldn't understand why my images were printed in mirror. You know, if you if you have a reason to do that, if you want to see it through, I have tried it with um, laser engraving acrylic. With acrylic, especially clear, you need to paint or mark a pen, um, dry white mark a pen it. Um, what that does is uh, it will just burn through and it leaves an image and then you can wipe off the marker pen. Now it was a bit of a faff and personally I wouldn't bother. Um, I think with a little bit more testing and a little bit more thought around that I think we could probably use, you, you could probably use um, acrylic burning. It's actually quite a nice tool um, but I tend to stick to wood um, and cardboard at the moment. Um, and what you want to do uh, to begin with, before any any uh, print, um, is it has an area, so it's called laser indication. And now what that will do is it will work out your 90 by 84 and it will actually map out on the, um, the area that you're going to print. Now this is where the plywood comes into action. Now any cubic, mega, uh, any cubic team don't supply you with um, a protected bed. So... Just go to your hardware store up the road, cut it to size, and there, and there you go. Like I say, dog clips and does the job. Um, press laser indication, and what that does, it lifts it up, goes to home. And then, obviously wearing glasses, um, this is the area that it's going to work of. Um, obviously I've got it at 50 at the moment um, but as I said you would want to probably go 52, 53 for that and you'll see the laser intensity more circular you know the indicator will be on that area and that's the area that you want to be for that size and what I tend to do is then place the item on there because the laser intensity is low you, know, you don't want to have that running over your hands I don't think it would do any damage but just you know for your own protection take care with this part and just place it using some tape put your item in that area and seal it down and just when you've finished marking out your area just press laser indication turns it off and then what you want to do is place once you've placed your item begin carving now only do that when you're 100% sure, you know, it's taken quite a few failures to get it spot on. Um, but I say more you do, 
the more you practice, the more successful prints you get. Now, personally, I've had some amazing items come off this. Um, I, I, I think it's brilliant. Uh, personally, the laser is very, very, very low end power. Um, I'll put the, in description uh, the laser, the laser strength. But I personally think, for what I use it for, brilliant. Um, any cubic are certainly my go-to um, machine. I have a Mega Pro, I have a Mega Zeria V2, and I also have the um, AnyCubic Photon, which is, as you all know, is the first sort of stages of um, resin printing. Um, brilliant. Um, obviously, I will do some test runs in future videos, but this was just a very basic um, overview of the Mega Pro laser only i mean I, I can show you um the filament side of it another day um these are the glasses you get with it do wear these obviously i was only doing a test um you only have to have a slight reflection um and that can reflect into your eyes would be very dangerous um don't take any risks obviously i was just doing the like i say laser indication so um nothing um, but anything with begin carving, that's where the intensity is for full, full capacity. Uh, so you want to be careful with that. Like I say, this is a new channel. I'm new to this, so go easy. Comments will be great. Like and subscribe.